Yeah, so what have you been up to? Man, I've just been, been all over dealing with this quarantine and I'm um, just trying to stay busy, you know, through that. I, uh, you know, it's been great because I've, I've had to, you know, um, figure out other ways to be productive and stay busy. I mean, the name of the game is just to stay busy, you know, regardless of what's going on in the world. Or, you can't control, you know, things. You can't control this virus. You can't control a market crash. You can't control prices, inventory, interest rates. Those are all of your control. Um, so you just gotta stay busy regardless of what the situations are and that's what I'm doing. I'm just, uh, I've been working eight hours a day here at the house, just uh, getting it done. I've sold a lot less properties. Normally I sell about, you know, 30 properties every March, but this year, um, so far in March, I've only sold two as far as pending deals. So the business has been down, but I don't know how deep you guys have went into my content, but I'll tell you, you know, I don't care if I wake up December 31st. And I only have, you know, I normally sell 100 properties a year since 2014. You know, I don't care if I wake up and I've only sold 20 or 30 or 50 at the end of the year because I know that I did all I could do to sell that. I'm more interested in my daily actions and what, you know, that I'm giving it everything I have on a daily basis. Not necessarily results. I don't care about the, the two deals I did this year versus the 30 I normally do. It doesn't matter at all to me. Um, I could care less about what the results actually yield. I just care that I that was were the highest results I could get because I put in the most action. You know what I mean? So that's what I've just been trying to focus on is just trying to live by my my philosophies that I've been preaching about for years to prepare for the moment that we're in. But regardless of personality, it's really interesting to hear both you guys say it's about the process, it's about the actions, about the routines, and the results if you put it all in show for themselves right and, and that and you know whatever those results are that's the thing people get too tied to the results you know and they they want to get down on their self if they you know I've talked to a couple agents here lately and they're like you know oh because I was looking at this result by the end of the year but now corona happened and it's like you're focusing on the wrong thing you know it doesn't matter what you know you want your results to be you have no control of what those results are going to be you know, you have control over what you do every day, you know, so I'm at the house making phone calls eight hours a day, you know, doing what I can do to uh, to stay busy and to stay in connection with people. I tell you, right now is one of those times where if you go back through your past clients and you go back through everybody you've ever talked to and you make those calls and those connections, people are going to remember that forever, that you called them during this pandemic. You know, and it's going to deepen that relationship so much that you call to check on them, see how they're doing, see what you can do to help them. You know, do, do they think they might do something after this is all over with? Whatever the case may be, you know, people are going to remember that. They're going to remember you as the agent that it didn't scare. You know, like you were calm in a very uncertain situation. They're going to remember that. They're going to see you as a stable agent. They're going to want to do business with you. You're going to be drawn to you. Um, so I think now is one of the best opportunities in the world to really, um, you know, build your brand really uh, to a point uh, yep. above everyone else. You know, right now, when this is all said and done, we're going to see who the real, who really wants to be top producers. 